Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Larry's Lines reaction. Uncle Larry answers all. Hey everybody and welcome Super to the Lounge. Always on loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. Tom's here next to me. Are you on Yo. camera? Can't see because the sun's just burning my retina right now. He's here because I'm doing a Q and A today. He's going to read. The oh, you haven't done this in a while. Naturally. Damn. Uh, oh, yeah. But before we get started. I want to shout out the podcast yet again because we need Where's some followers and yeah, people to listening off. to these. Yes, it's on podbean.com. Yes, it's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. Just go know. there, search Larry's Loungecast, or you can use the links that provided in the description. Yeah, and I'm Food telling you, it's only gonna, we're food. only going to get better and better at doing these. Um, we, well, that's why it's not already great. Oh, it's great already. I, yeah, oh, we're sure. still far from the top. Oh, yeah, but it's not that far, Joe. No, it makes sense. It's great. Let's do it. So yeah, far. and the thing is, is that we're going to have Jesse as a regular on it, the Juggernuggets, uh, me, and Joe, and Big Brother. Yeah, um, when he can make it, he won't be there this week. Cause yeah, I can actually end up making yeah. the, the yeah. entire package. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, do that again. So, anyway, guys, what are we talking in a disembodied voice? <laughs> What's that? You're talking in a disembodied voice. What? I'm I'm not on the camera. Oh. I'm disembodied. Man, he confuses me sometimes. I don't know who I'm talking to sometimes. I'm talking to the disembodied voice, I guess. Anyway, anyway. guys, let's get into these questions because we got a ton of them. Don't forget to say who's saying it too. Right. Uh, just their name or their uh, actual Twitter handle. Man, my breath is burning. And I know people say, hey, don't put your, you know, instead of putting your hand in, turn your hat around. I guess it is the same thing if I go like that, but uh, if yeah. I don't go like that, at least you can see my face. If I turn it around, you shadow there. So, so uh, name or Twitter handle? The Twitter handle. Okay. The first question comes from Quinn1570812. Do you have a wife? I wonder if you're a new person that, you know what I mean, that doesn't know me or, uh, or anything. Uh, yes, I'm married. I've been married since... Uh, 29 years now it'll be this this August. Um, well, that's very happy we the we, uh, she matter. just doesn't like to be in videos, doesn't want to be in videos, so I respect that. Uh, we always have to respect that. what somebody else's wishes are. So, yeah, I am married and very happily married. At Mr. Fossil's Gaming asks, what's all this going on with Dominic and why did it occur? Uh, okay, <coughs> I'm not going to get into all that, all the stuff. Um, I will say this. It started out with just a, uh, a tweet that Swift made. He uh, was just making a joke. Dom got mad at him, obviously, and, uh, and blocked him. But I had liked the joke, and I had said something. I said, I, said, I thought it was pretty damn funny. But I, I think I first said, oh, he blocked you? And then I said, it's, it's pretty funny. I said, uh, and then I got blocked <laughs> after that, which I don't understand why I got blocked, because I liked the joke. I mean... I always, okay. I, I always okay. like Dom. I didn't think okay. he was there. What the fuck is wrong with Dom? Are you kidding me? Just because he gets a little insensitive over a joke that Swift. Yeah, so he blocks Swift for it. And just because Larry likes a joke, Dom blocks him too? Oh my god, go fuck yourself, Dom. I swear to god. I'm glad you're not in the videos anymore. The guy I always had a problem with him about his button because... There you go. To me, he's part of a big problem that happened. Is like me and a lot of other YouTubers, when we get sub purged and everything, it's because of people like Dom. It's because of people who actually botted subs, and then we all pay the price of that. And I think it should take. Remember when I told you about that? Because that's yeah. why told that you. Is because of people like Dom, and it kind of made me kind of makes me. But I, I, that's what the joke was about. That's with me that I like yeah. because Completely. even Dom admits the bot. So yeah. I don't understand what his problem is, just because he can't take a joke. I, I don't know, but that's that's what that's about, anyway. He's gonna fuck himself. Next question from Monique eighty four. Okay. How long do you think you'll be making YouTube videos for? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yeah. I will. I I think I said this from the very beginning. I'll make YouTube videos as long as I am having fun making the videos, and. Uh, there was some, a time that I wasn't having as much fun, and I stopped making it, uh, making videos and stuff. It was right around, was, did my dad just pass away at that point, too? I think so. I think it was around that time. It, I was going through a very difficult time. Um, and I shouldn't have said, I'm quitting YouTube. I should have said, I need to take a break. 
yeah. around that time, right? And I did it. Um, I don't have any plans on quitting. Um, I'll follow your grandpa's example and that's the be just tell you that. It's not about, you know, how many uh, views we get, even though that does, you know, we want to see good views on the videos, but it's always going to be about having fun making videos. We like seeing that you guys enjoy our videos. Yeah. Yeah, and if you said it a little bit better. From, hold on, okay. From, this is Dixon99. Favorite challenge you've done? Favorite challenge? I would have to say, even though I sucked at I think almost every single challenge we've ever done, the Try Not to Laugh challenge, I, it's just because it's a blast, because you're laughing the whole time when you're doing that. So it's kind of a it's kind of a neat challenge to do. But we've done a lot of really good challenges. Uh, Food for the week. Uh, you know, the hot pepper is probably a great video to watch. So the hot fun. pepper challenge, but, but it was not a good for the week. <laughs> video no. for me to do. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't really like hot stuff at all, and okay. I really don't like it now. DVT X82 asks, favorite food and drink? Well, I think we know about the drink. Corona. <laughs> favorite food? <laughs> There's, I have a lot of favorite <laughs> ones, but uh, pizza is probably my absolute favorite. I don't remember there. I like Ron's favorite. Tristar YT asks, what do you I think like of YouTube's current position? Except for um, subframe type pizza. <laughs> yeah. We kind of hit this on our yeah. podcast. If That's you watch our first podcast, we <laughs> talk about YouTube and, and the current, uh, isn't it, what was it called, the, the title was the State of YouTube. The State of YouTube. Uh, so we kind of hit all that, so if you really want our in-depth uh, opinions on that, listen no, to I our like first podcast. podcast. Once again, on Podbean, Spotify, and, and iTunes. iTunes. Just look up Larry's podcast, or follow the links in the description. I can't believe yeah, that shit. Was, I, I think didn't know that. Pretty good, uh, uh, insights. And it wasn't just me, it was you also Jesse. Suspicious. Um, oh, JT blocking, swiping, Larry. Give me a fucking break. What? I think you would like that. When, uh, when Jesse just comments on that Jesse gets blocked. Yeah. Nico Suave, 115. Can I come work for you in the summer? Is it filming, editing, <laughs> acting, any of those things? Smiley face. If you work for free, because all, a lot of people don't understand, is like, because you look at social blade and you see what they put down there for, for how much you make and stuff like that. That's not true. It's not, it's not the high end. It's usually somewhere in the middle. Um, the amount of money that we make, this is Tom's job. He edits, he, 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 he what else do you do? Produce. Produce, he's a camera guy. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of important, right? Yeah, probably the hardest job. You're welcome. He, and, and editing, some, some of the videos are hard to edit. Yeah. He, he does all that stuff, so he I know very little about editing or thumbnails and all that stuff. Tom does that. That's his job. Uh, besides, he does a little freelance stuff, but that's all the money that we make on that, which isn't a whole lot, goes towards Tom, and I pay Joe to be to be uh, in videos because Joe's time is very important to him. I don't get very much money and some some months I don't get anything at all because uh, I have to take out money for taxes and stuff like that. So there you go. I don't have, I wish you could work for me but uh, we don't really have a position for you. And we don't really do stuff where we need an extra person to film. Not really. Like we don't, you know, our, our series, we did one series but we're not going to get into that. Yes, we're getting off track. Next question comes from Lord Questmith. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about recording and sharing videos for your fans? My favorite thing is is when I get a reply that says that they laugh so hard that they pee themselves, or they laugh so hard. Um, like I, one of my friends hit me up in the DM and said that um, they have asthma and they had to use their inhaler because they watched uh, one of our videos, and that is what drives me. That's what makes me... I really only want to make people laugh. I mean, when you make somebody else feel good, it, it makes you feel good. Yeah. Did I answer that question? Yeah. I know what I mean. I've got to tell us about Angry Brother. Brother. What's you and Joe's... Why are you so angry, man? What's you and Joe's favorite video on your channel? I don't know. I can't speak for Joe as far as his, the favorite video on the channel because Joe, he loves a lot of them. Um, but my favorite video, out of all our videos that we do, uh, there's a few of them, but I would say my favorite one is going to be Slappy Halloween. 
which we did not get very many views, which was very disappointing on that one. But it was my favorite, um, and I have to say, Slappy Halloween, because the whole complete thing, we had a series, and we were doing it weekly, but not each individual one. I don't think there was one that was that was so much funnier than the others, but I think it was the combined, but we made it, because it was one, it was like one little movie that we, that we made, and uh, that's my favorite. Speaking of favorites, what was your favorite part of MVE and scene? My favorite part of MVE, I would have to say, is uh, the Brotherhood and uh, and the fight scene that we did on that day uh, over at uh, on this certain property that we were at with all the Regina's crew and uh, and, and Jesse, of course, was there. Right. Was Swift. The, uh, the, the rest of the Regina's crew was those brothers because. Yep. These guys Okay, really good cool. to know. They were really good guys in it. And you know what? I'm going to shout out their channel right now. If you get a chance, subscribe to their channel. These guys are really some good guys. And, uh, they, they are. I've been watching them lately. I just working. came from reacting to them. Good. All right. Uh, well, I personally don't like this question. What's your most favorite prank that you ever pulled? Oh. Uh, you know, it depends on who it is. Uh, for Tom, the my favorite prank that I pulled on Tom was probably the cheese ball one when we threw cheese cheese ball stuff all over you. And I stuff. remember. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite ones. Also got him real good with uh, water balloons dropping on his head too. I like that one. Other than that, I think the other one was uh, I thought that was an elaborate prank that we pulled on Jesse that time when we strapped him to the chair and we we poured uh, syrup over top of his head. It was called the uh, chicken, sticky chicken, man, but sticky, right. sticky chicken. Yeah, I'm not gonna say I wrote that. Sticky chicken ambush prank. That was the one too. All right. Next question comes from. Next question three. Do you have a dream the car? Next question three. What kind of name is that? I'll tell you what. If I could have my car back from when I was younger, uh, my my first car that I ever bought was a 1965 Mustang. If I could have that one back, that would be my dream car. Next from The Moderator 19. The Moderator. Have you ever been to the UK? No. <laughs> I have not. Been to Switzerland. Alright, next up comes from Real G Diamond. How did you and Joe come up with the idea of starting a podcast? Also, just want to say I love listening to Larry's Lounge Cast. By far, one of my favorites. Subscribe to Larry's Lounge with post notifications on. Oh wow, well, you're all. This is all directly in that tweet. You quote are. for quote. I like that guy. We should. Have, do I follow him? Because we should follow that person. I have to say that uh, the original idea of a podcast came from Jesse. <coughs> he had said it a long time ago that me and Joe should start a, uh, or Joe and I should start a podcast up and. Uh, it, we were very intimidated doing it because we know nothing. We I, we knew nothing. We know a little bit, kind of it now. But we knew nothing about getting into this. And when it, when you go into that unknown, uncharted waters, you're a little bit intimidated and you don't know where you start at. You know, and it's like, oh, where do we even start? I don't know. Uh, so, so, again, you're Googling a lot of stuff, trying to learn as much as you can. Uh, we learned some things right away. And I'm sure we have a ton of things to learn still. All right, next one from Brandy33. What's your favorite types of video to create? Well, I know who Brandy is, and thank you, Brandy. Oh, so, hey, I know who that is. Our favorite videos, again, are... And I love comedy. Unfortunately, on YouTube, comedy doesn't seem... Especially our comedy, because we're old-school comedy. Um, they don't do very well uh, view-wise, so we make them, but we can't make them more constant. And, and our our comedy also has a tendency that it would probably get demonetized because we like scary safety guy like that one didn't, but I could see where or I did one where I, I fell off pretend I fell off the roof and we threw the dummy off the roof. Remember Tom and. We had to take it down because it'll get demonetized because you know they're going to say that oh little kids are watching that and they can think that they can fly off the roof. So we have to take take that one down. Well, I think we took did we take any? I don't think we took any other uh, funny videos down, just questionable ones. 
Uh, but humor this is my absolute favorite thing to do. Funny videos. The, the thing is, is like they don't. I, I don't know why they don't get views. They don't. Like as soon as you put like the the angry guys and well, with angry guys you understand because they drop a lot of f bombs, so that's why they don't get views. But the drunk guys, which we had to change our name to the party guys, right? Is that their name now? Or the slappy guys? We had to change I, our name because it, they were getting demonetized. Sure and that. it's because you show yeah. a beer on the on the camera, and the thing, or, you know, you can't have the word the drunk guys on there, and you get demonetized. Now you, we always got our, our monetization back, but the problem is, is when they first go out, that's when the influx of views come. Wasn't having any ads on it, and we we're making any money off of that at all. Not to say that we're not going to do stuff like that, because we are, but it goes low on the on the burner as opposed to every other video. But there, I would say those two characters, and I think as soon as you put a wig on your head, people don't want to watch it. Like, like, and it's not about the wig. I look, keep looking over his tongue, because it's like I'm talking to him, but I'm really talking to you guys. As soon as you put on a wig, I think it's like people deem that it's like it's a skit, so we're not in the skits, we're not watching it. That's what it seems like to me, and it's unfortunate because, you know, I think that me and Joe are funny, or Joe and I, have, you know, I hate English, <laughs> but I think we're both funny, but I guess maybe we're only funny in our own minds to, to a lot of people. Go ahead, Tom. Next question is, comes from Sing a Song 55. How's the recovery from your leg so far? It was doing great until I went back to work, <laughs> which was just yesterday. And uh, I, I only worked a half a day, so it wasn't too bad yesterday, but today I worked a full day. And uh, I had this pain right around my kneecap that I never had before. And I'm hoping it's just because I was standing a lot today and my knee was, was hanging down. I should have it up right now. Um, for a lot of today. So I'm going to have to put some ice on it and hopefully it'll be okay. So, uh, before this, though, everything was great. We'll see. Next question comes from Omar Barry 1209. I know who Omar is. When did you meet McDermott? Okay. Huh? Uh, shortly after his birth. With his uncle. No, I... You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> There's not, there's not a whole lot I could elaborate on that question. Though. I need a new the question. The next one is from C. Stafford 580. Right. If you could be any yeah. type of sandwich, what would it be? It is. What? A sandwich? That's what I'm Why would I want to be a sandwich? I don't know what you mean. That's just that's a bizarre question. I, uh, and I it doesn't even make any sense. There will be no sandwich. No. Mm -hmm. And the next question comes from T. Atkinson 620. If you had a genie, would it look like Will Smith, and what wishes would you make? If I had a genie, would it look like Will Smith? No, he's kind of scary looking genie. Uh, and what wishes would I make? You know, that name sounds familiar. Could you tell me it again? T. Atkinson, six life. Oh, all right, Tyler. Uh, what wishes would I make? No. I my first wish. Do you get one? Uh, genius usually get three. My first wish would be that I would get an unlimited amount of wishes. That and would be usually against the rule. Well, that's messed up. My yeah. first wish then would be uh, <coughs> good health for me and my family for the rest of eternity. <coughs> Alright, well, there's one. Uh, second would be uh, <coughs> I rich, be rich. Alright, there's two. Uh, Third one, oh, you're rich, you're, you've got health, and uh, I, th I think the third one, would, the most important one would be is that uh, me and my family would be happy for the rest of our lives, even though that's eternity. There you go. Okay. All right, next, uh, next question comes from Crimson Piranha. Is Tom ever going to move the wood? Hmm. That's a good question. Are you? Maybe. It's, it's like, what is today? The 19th? Something like, something like that. It's the 19th, and you haven't moved any of the wood other than that little pile yet. <laughs> oh. Alright, and this last one is going to come from Some Fun Times. Oh, God. What is your number one favorite dish that you enjoyed making for Shelby Grill? Wow, we had a lot of... Uh, okay, I'll, I'm going to bring up one. 
Um, my absolute favorite one, and me and Joe talk about this all the time, was when we made homemade pizza. And one of the reasons why that that's my favorite and always will be my favorite is because we had a really close friend of mine who was down from, matter of fact, he, from Jesse's videos, he was the man in the RV. Um, but he's, he's my friend from high school, and he was in the video of doing the pizza, and uh, when we went to eat them, that's when he was like with his hands like this when we went to start, and I had to cut the video because I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, what are you talking about? I said, you got your hands up here. Like, oh, dang it, nice. He's like, I don't know what to do with my hands. And we all went and started start start laughing. But he literally didn't know what to do with his hands. So for some reason, they came up like this. But uh, you should check that video out because it's a pretty funny video. But that was my absolute favorite video. Uh, as far as fun times making it, and if you're talking about... Uh, Meals themselves. This part that small in the I would say, oh wow, there are so many of them because we made some really great meals over the years. But uh, I'll, I'll just say, my chicken pot pie that I make is one of my favorite meals to make because I love it, and uh, a lot of people that we have a pot pie taste it love well. it also. So I would say that that's my favorite meal if I'm going to say if we're talking about that. But anyway, that's the last question we're going to take for today. Thank you guys to all you guys. I think it's cool that you did this. I love it. Love uh, giving you guys some insight on what goes on and, and you know what we're about and everything. Don't forget, guys, to uh, subscribe to one, hit that post notification bell, and uh, that like button. It's important to us. Also, our podcast is Podbean. Uh, this is my third time, right? Podbean.com, Spotify, and iTunes comes out every Saturday. Around noontime, Eastern. I have to catch up on the uh, last one. It's, it's not standard anymore because it's daylight, right? So it's what? Eastern? It's still standard. Oh, Eastern Standard Time. There you go. Noontime, <coughs> Eastern Standard Time. Every Saturday is when we're coming out with a podcast. So uh, support us through this endeavor that we're doing right now. I'm excited about it. Joe's excited about it. Jesse's excited about it. Uh, we're hitting some really good stuff. Who knows what topic we're going to hit? This week, maybe ah, it might be about it. lions. I don't know. I'm hey, that'd be a good one. Like, uh, <coughs> about tigers? <coughs> this is no time, lions, tigers, or bears. It could be about any one of those. You never know what our podcast is going to be about. So listen to it. I think we're kind of uh, entertaining. Until next time, guys, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. I'll meet you at the lounge. Oh, hold it. I forgot to say one thing. There's also something new that's going to be coming out with Candace. And they, um, we're going to do something, some videos that will be coming out. Uh, hopefully we're going to be shooting one this week. And I hope you guys look forward to it. All I can tell you is it's going to have something to do with spilling the tea. So now, until next time, grab yourself some cold drink. Please be able to relax. I'll be taking a while. Mm. Ah. Mm. All right, anyway, that's the end of the video. Stay tuned for the next one.